Henry. Here we are live on Facebook with the Kitmen. We like this, don't we, Rich? We, we like this. this. We like this, Henry. Did you know? Right. Henry has got a crush on one of his fellow college students. <laughs> he has, what? He has a phone with a male or female. So if you have college students out of Henry's college, one of you could be very lucky. Yeah. You could have a bit of a soft spot for you. So is it Henry? He touched himself whilst thinking of me. <laughs> Come on in, Henry. What you got for us? Um, well, was it last? Charlotte, was it? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what? Come on in. What you got for us? Well, last week you uh, we started off the Hawks Radio great giveaway. We did. Um, and we've got a lot of things Hawks Radio want to do for the end of the season. Um, so one of the potential things is having a a five a, um, having a walking football um, game between the Hawks first team and the media team. Good idea. Good idea, I like it. Um, yeah, I, I remember last time we had a game against the uh, Hawks fans, me and Rich managers for the for the day. Yeah. And uh, one game, one win, 19 goals for, none against. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Disarrowed on coke. Disarrowed on coke, I played in goals, second half. <laughs> Got the video, if you want to see it at some point, Henry. Could be a Hawks radio exclusive. Different gear that was. Yeah. But yeah, good idea, I like it. Well, today, Merson, we've got, um, as, as we alluded to before going on there, there's tours going around and stuff. We've got 60 or 70 kids from local from local schools, and it's good for the club because it, it breathes in new fans, yeah. uh, fans that we hope can be full fans for life. Yeah, exactly. Great idea. You know, we live in such a big area, uh, one of the largest council states in the country, one of the largest in Europe, in fact. Um, you know, I've got young kids. They're... Uh, six or seven primary schools within a one mile radius of there, you know, so if we can get them kids here, get them, you know, into the Hawks family, they come along, they bring a parent along, you know, it's good for the club financially, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, you know, it can only be good for, for the future of the Hawks, because that's what you need to get. And of course we do have offers where if you have two kids, uh, two kids, um, two yeah, kids yeah. going free with families or something along those yeah, lines as well. Yeah. There's two kids per pay and not get the free bit. And what about today's game against Merston? It, it could be Bognor Needham play today. This is a big game because they play today and anything other than a Bognor win is beneficial, but only if we win. Look after ourselves. <laughs> exactly, yeah. They're all big games now. We've cup finals. 14, 14. Yeah, 14. 14 cup finals, you know. It's cliches. Fifteen. Yeah, yeah. And at, at the yeah. actual you know, cup final, yeah. <laughs> you get cliches at this this time of the season. You you know you get fourteen cup finals. Look after ourselves. Control the controllables. People say they're cliches, but they're, they're true not, because you've got to do it. Yeah. We don't worry about anyone else no. because if Bognor win all twelve games they got uh, eleven of the twelve games they got left, and they lose one to us, and we lose fourteen of the games, you know, they're league champions. That's yeah. the story. So we're not worried about them. Do we look at their results? Of course we do. We're oh, yeah. human. human. But we only look at it in the hope that they're going to drop points mm. after we've won our game. Yeah. We're going to take care of business. Well, Lee said last week to me that he wants to stay the season unbeaten now. Yeah. Yeah, tough ask, but if we do it, I think that would be enough. And that's the high standards that we've got to be at because it's so tight there. And Bognor had notched 94 points and are still in this league last season. Well, it's the Ducks last night. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Anyway, enough of football talk. Who is this fellow college? Yeah, who is it? Crush we've is it? heard the rumour. Who is it? Who is it? What rumour? You've got, you got a crush on your fellow college. No, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So it could be either. I don't know. Where, where have you got this rumour from? Because I've got no crush on anyone. He's good, and he's trying hard. <laughs> he is good, isn't he? Look at his poker face. Some of them haven't called where he goes to his, his little media. <laughs> well, whilst me and Rich have been. Boom. Whilst me and Rich have been hanging outside the college, which you do on a regular basis. Oh, gosh. Hanging around outside the college, you know, just to. Sort of oh, like gosh. See who's about, don't we, Rich? He's to bring to take Steve with us. Yeah. <laughs> he filmed it. <laughs> Anyway, who is it? Is it a boy or is it a girl? There's no one. Honestly, there's no one. You heard this room, Steve. He's got one of his fellow college students. We'll call him a media hall. I don't know if it's all her. Could be him. Could be him. I don't know where this is all coming from. Look at the little human mole getting involved. Look at his little face, look. Is it an itch? I've got a pin stuck in my sock. 
Oh, oh, we got a Hawks Red exclusive. Henry's yeah, got a pen, pen stuck in his sock. Right? It's got a bit of shoe mail. Stop trying to fix it. Anyway, Henry. Yeah. Anyway, Henry, I see um, on your Facebook page and stuff this week, you've uh, put your little thing up for your tickets for your giveaway. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. You've got your ball up there. Yeah, with, uh, this is James Hayter's signed hatchet ball against ASC Porch. And if there's any um, li- um, people viewing in thinking, you still don't know the news, Juvis Goals Committee gave... A hat trick to James Hater. Also, we've just got to confirm it with Lee Molyneux, but he doesn't wear them anymore, so we're hoping to get them for you. Oh, wow, that would that would be an amazing prize. Who's uh, Darren. Half day Darren, we call him. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're hoping to get them for you. Get a little signature from Molyneux on there. and. Um... um but fair. Uh, but yeah, we got we just got to get his permission. For yeah, that yeah, first. of course. So, um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have them for you. And we sold our first batch of tickets. Did you? Who yeah. them to? Bob. Ralph wanted free wanted free strips. So I like it. Free strips. I wanted like free it. strips, free quid. So I like it. And and hopefully Henry, you make a few quid out of it. And and just if anyone's listening, when I say Henry make a few quid, it's not for Henry personally. No. But. This season, Henry has done a lot for the Hawks this year. Mm-hmm. Puts a lot of effort into it, and it will all go back to Hawks Radio mm. to help Henry be bigger and better next season. Is that fair, Henry? Yeah. And we're going to leave it there because we're just about to, we're just about to see one of the tours now, um, as we've been speaking. So we, we'll leave it there, gents, and we'll see you again next week. Always oh, 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 in ya. <laughs> Always at the end of Struggers turn up. <laughs> Someone, about a horrible drawing. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw it.